What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about pumpkins and squashes and how they got cross pollinated. A squash can! This is one of them. Very big, plump, juicy one that we should probably harvest and let it grow in our kitchen. Why is that? Because the chickens might eat it. Uh, they, they learned how to get in here and jump down to here. Another thing, oh, that is a big, like that is huge. They're all a bit droopy from the heat wave we had. Yeah. These ones are small little squashes combined with a pumpkin again. These are all just squash kids. Squashes and pumpkins are in the same um, plant family. I mean, this one's kind of growing out over here, so we should probably take it before the chickens do. Oh, well, there's many things that you can do with squash skins. You can uh, do dinners that have squashes, the squash, and then you can also do pumpkin pie stuff. This pumpkin, so whatever you can do with a pumpkin, you can do with this. Whatever you can do with squash, you can do with this, because it's a breed of that, I think. You can do whatever you can do with a squash skin, you can do with a pumpkin and a squash. <laughs> So what probably happened was a, but a bee would say that, let's pretend that this is a mayo flower from a different vine that is a pumpkin vine. And bee went buzz, 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 pull, pull in, buzz, buzz. And then this is a female, and then let's pretend this is a female flower from a squash vine. Bee, the same bee goes buzz, buzz, and draws a pollen into it. Buzz, 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 and does the exact same thing until it dies or gets or stings. And so that cross-pollinated yeah. into a squash kin. A squash kin. And, and that was supposed to be a crook neck squash, wasn't it? Yeah, but then a pumpkin came along. Now, yeah. We did not plant, by the way. We did not plant we the did pumpkin. Not plant this, but look this at how much food pumpkin. we're getting from the, the pumpkin that planted itself. Yeah, it's because we carved out pumpkins on the deck, so some seeds must have fallen down and um, they just liked where they landed, didn't they? Yep. Well, most of them, at least. The other ones are smaller. They were easier. These ones are uh, bigger and harder and heavier. Do you need some help? Yeah. How do I help? I don't know how to harvest a pumpkin. Yeah, neither do I. Besides, why? It's really easy. Not poke my face. Oh. What if we twist it? Yeah, what if we twist it? Yeah. Like what I can make a squash. Oh, I should do this. There's a baby spider right there. Where? Right here. Oh, okay. It's okay. Spider can't really hurt us right now. Yeah, especially if it's can a baby. Alright, my turn. You move the leaves okay. out of the way. This is the most annoying one because it's wrapping around the pumpkin. Okay. So you now I have nothing to wrap around. Oh yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Oh yeah. You got. Yeah, you definitely got it. This is really hard, by the way. This is definitely not how you harvest a pumpkin. <laughs> I think we need some mom strings. Yeah. We go. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah, it took us a while to do it. It's like, got so many. Oh, jump on. So, what are you harvesting there? Uh, I'm getting some beans out of the garden. How are you going to cook them? Probably put them in a stir fry or a salad. Alright, that sounds great. See, you can find quite a few of them. I've noticed that uh, one's like over here have tend to be curved and then ones from over on this plant tended like they tended to grow straight so this one kind of grew curved too so these are what your brother had planted uh in june and we're now in august mid-august moving into September. fall already aren't we yeah and these ones they kind of look like mangoes because <laughs> they they're green at the top and then they're colored at the bottom, so it's not ripe yet. Yeah, not bad. Look at how big that is. It's gonna be yummy. 
That didn't have as big of a snap. It's just stayed in the pot a little bit longer. It's not as sweet. They're nice sizes, aren't they? Mm hmm Oh, that's good. I was really happy to see the bee because it meant that we were going to get some more food probably from our pumpkin vines. And I was like, I was surprised too because here yeah, we never really get bees. So many houses. We've got um, the corn flowers, also known as bachelor's buttons. They smell really like good, kind of sweet. Um, we've got the big giant sunflower that's as tall as me. <laughs> I like the way that sunflowers smell. And then we've got the dreadlock This is my mom's favorite. We've got some marigolds. They're kind of struggling over here. They have more sun than over there. They're really pretty, but I don't want to touch them. Oh, look, a caterpillar. Oh, is that a worm? What is that? No, chickens don't. No. <laughs> hey, chuck, 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 chuck. No, mom. They're gonna, it, it's gone now. So over here, we have the marigolds. You can eat them. Um, and then we have the baby elderberry here. Allison over here, you can also eat this. We used to, where we used to live, we used to have heaps of it over by our trees. And um, we used to just snack on them. It was pretty good. And then that's dandelion there too. They tend to grow a lot here. And then we've got amaranth and the zinnias. Blackberries in here. Back. And oh, that's a back. horseradish. Oh. And so actually we, we get a lot of hail and so this hoop was put over the top of the box to protect this. And oh, you'll see that the winds actually destroyed the one that was on this side because of the direction of the winds. And you'll see our rhubarb got quite damaged from the hail. Um, I think it's borage. See the chickens, they've nested over here by the dogwood. He's growing over here. We do. Oh my gosh, it's using the fence cover as a trellis. Oh, Dill. It looks like Queen Anne's lace a little bit. Oh, just um, see, this is my favorite one because it's got that peculiar purplish ring. Whereas these ones here, they're just yellow, see? So I th the reason that my bird feeder here is empty is because you know the big red stuff, big bottles of red stuff you buy for them to fill up, uh, like at a Lowe's or a Walmart. Um, we're doing some research and we're trying to determine if it is bad for them. They really like the zinnias, so that's what we've got instead, and we'll plant some more of them next year to get some more hummingbirds. Um, and they're really yummy to eat. They don't taste like strawberry, but they, it is really good. And I love the vibrant reddish pink color, but it does smell really strong and it does taste really good when you put it in like little sour cream sauces. It tastes amazing with fish. Uh, like fish sticks, um, it's gonna sound weird, but if you put, if you oven bake some fish sticks and you put it into uh, like your taco, you can put some dill with like a sour cream yogurt kind of mixture and some salt and it tastes delicious. Okay, so we over here we've got some really nice um, raspberries and although they are not producing fruit right now because our old dog kind of dug all of them up multiple times. Um, so if you take the leaves, you can, oh whoops, <laughs> if you take the leaves, uh, you can make them into a herbal tea and it's really good for your health and it tastes pretty good too. We might, look, we've got some flowers on here. We might actually get some fruit, look. That's awesome. That'll be wonderful. We better make sure we put one of the little fences around so the chooks don't <laughs> steal them. Um, and over here, we've got some sunflowers, but if you can notice, they're pretty, they're a bit shorter than the average ones because uh, we had, we have some neighbors who sprayed uh, their weeds. And so since we're on the slope, the water, the rainwater washed it down into here. And since sunflowers 
they suck up everything most <laughs> that are in the soil and so they sucked up the uh, weed killer and now they're pretty small but actually they're pretty resilient yeah these ones are at the end near the end of their season if you can tell um and it's ginormous it's as tall as my dad it's huge see it's crazy how big it is and we've got some more uh flowers in here so uh, we have giant sunflower here too and if you can tell um it's missing some seeds because we harvested them to make some really yummy snacks see they're really easy to just pull out and then you can put some salt on them this one's a bit small so i don't know if i'd eat that um <laughs> but they're still edible they taste good when they're dry so you leave them out for a little while um and over here we have some alliums i think some neighborhood kids planted them uh we, they might be leek, but we won't really know until we harvest them. And down here we grow the potatoes, and the chickens really like it down here. It's like a safe zone for them. We uh, have a lot of falcons. Yeah, it's a shame. <laughs> but every creature has its part in doing the favors for the ecosystem. Over here we grow our salad foods, but as you can see, they're done for the season, so we just kind of give the uh, dead ones to the chickens. This is honeysuckle, and uh, it's actually gotten pretty big. I think two months ago, it's down to here. Like that's as big as it was from the floor there, and now it's all the way up there. So down here, you see the suction, the succulent plant. I almost said suction plant. Um, it's called perslane, and it's got heaps of health benefits. My sister actually harvested some and put it in a smoothie, so it is edible. And then we don't really know what this is. Uh, it's the first time that it's come up. I think it might be a squash of some kind, seeing as the shape of it looks kind of like a squash. And I think we've got some mint down here. Mint? Yeah, that will taste good with the raspberry leaf tea. Pumpkin! <laughs> Pumpkin's taken over. I, I'm gonna stand back and show how, how the pumpkin is. On our deck, it must have like seeds fall, must have fallen down. They must have liked it because uh, it's like the main plant. It's a guild, and a guild is where the, all the plants have a relationship with each other in the soil and like up, and the and they all support the main plant, which is supposed to be that big tree. So the clover here, if you notice, it's a, it blends in with the grass and it makes a wonderful ground cover because of all the nitrogen that it can produce. And it's very thick, see, um, from the sod, it's, you can't even get to the bottom of it. And it makes, a, as I've said, it makes a great ground cover. Um, I have a question about this. In it, I've noticed instead of the compost, you guys have been, when I give you some of those scraps, you've been putting them here. And I noticed over there and well, not in the compost bin. Well, the reason for that is, you see the chicken coop behind you, we station it around the grass in rotating areas so that the chickens can get uh, like a good rotation and it actually helps the grass grow back very nicely when we put all the scraps here um, because of all the nutrients that it can provide and the chickens get a pretty good snack out of it. And I love that you guys have explored the garden this year to such an enormous degree. It was an interesting experience learning how to harvest the pumpkin earlier, wasn't it? That was hard. I don't think it was ready to come off, but yes, it was interesting. It's but you learned from that too, right? Yeah, don't stomp on the pumpkin vine. Yeah, but in the end, actually, what we discovered was that that part of the vine was actually broken, wasn't it? And yeah. so... And if it's broken, um, disease can get into the plant and infect the entire plant so we won't get as big as a production. And we discovered when we removed all this uh, pumpkin that there's an ecosystem down there. Something's living underneath our big planter box. And I reckon it's a mouse or some other kind of rodent because... The well, hole's quite small, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> and I don't think a snake wants to live under there. They're so skittish. Just this one. 
That's my fingers. <laughs> She's so funny. Hi. I like the color of her. And I think this concludes our tour. I hope that you enjoy our garden and maybe will be inspired to plant some of your own plants. Thank you. Bye.